fun. Some fun. I Watch. can't really say I'm excited. Really? No. You don't like All The Rock? Buddy. All buddies. Oh, I like The Rock. King ever. But I don't like The Rock's movies. At all. Mom, man. Gritty Mother. Gang. He tried to be so serious. I haven't seen Fast Five yet. I well, hear Fast Five is actually really good. Like, really, really good. Interesting. Maybe we should just go rent that instead. <laughs> Probably be a good idea. We need someone to take us to an island located here. That's the deadliest part of the ocean. There is no island there. Ooh, baby, easy peasy. Let's go. Oh! That's my security system. I'd rather take the Titanic. So, uh, hi everybody. We just watched uh, Journey to the Mysterious Island, starring The Rock and uh, Michael, Michael, Michael Caine. Caine. Michael Caine and a bunch of others. Uh, Doc, what did you think about Journey 2? I uh, didn't like the Journey 2. Okay. Or whatever it's called. It it wasn't funny. <laughs> Michael Caine was annoying. <laughs> Which is rare. The Rock was all right. He wasn't his usual charming self, though. He was just kind of there. The peck thing was funny. That was it. I don't know. It's just like... The movie... I guess it looked cool. Because, you know, super fantastical island, like, literally lifted from a storybook. But... It's like, like we were saying, it's like they get to the island and then five minutes later it's like, oh, we just gotta get off the island. <laughs> so they're basically just ushering all these characters off the island as fast as they can. We don't really get to see a whole lot of it. Yeah. And I don't know, this just, the movie just felt like it started and then it wanted to end right away. And I didn't like anything that happened in the movie <laughs> at all. I just wasn't entertained. All right, what do you think, Tim? I actually disagree quite a bit. Oh. I actually really enjoyed it. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. I The story was... Like, I thought it was interesting enough. I actually really liked Michael Caine in it. I thought The Rock was pretty funny. The kid got kind of annoying at times, and the guy who I thought for most of the movie was George Lopez, <laughs> he was really annoying. How did you think he was George Lopez? <laughs> I don't no, he look looks up. nothing like him, and they don't even sound the same. <laughs> he's yeah, the, who was that he's, guy? He's, he's, everyone looks like George Lopez. <laughs> Christ. Da -da -da -da. Okay, Daddy, what do you think? Um, it was a meh. It was like a good. It, it was a good little ride, I guess. It was cool. The 3D was really good. I like the the bird, the bumblebees. That was pretty fun. Hmm. But um, very cliched. Very cliched characters and story, and fuck the kid who wanted to go to the gold mountain while the island was sinking and then got mad because he couldn't go. It's like, the island's sinking! I want to get gold! Well, no! It's the <laughs> island sinking! This is stupid! I want molten gold! <laughs> and risk everyone's lives! Yeah, that was kind of insane. This, this island's sinking in a few hours. No! We need gold! <laughs> I, uh... Hey, Doc. Got a camera. I, uh, I thought it was... <laughs> okay, it wasn't terrible. It was definitely inherently watchable, especially if you're... I think this is the kind of movie that parents need to take their kids to, and the children will have a decent time, the parents will have a decent time, nobody will have a good time, like, say, if, if you were at, say, like, a Pixar movie, or something that's actually got some substance to it. But at the same time, the kids will probably be entertained. Um, the parents, you know... The Rock's kind of funny, I guess. Uh, he tries his best. The script is fucking awful, and you can tell the director's stuck to it so hard. Um, with The Rock, you need to make him improvise, and the parts where he was clearly improvising were the best scenes in the movie. And overall, it kind of felt like it was like like a theme park ride, except it was I don't know. It was it was it was it was almost too formula. Like it was it was pretty much the exact same movie as Journey in the Center of the Earth. Uh, whereas they get to the center of the earth, and they're like, whoa, center of the earth! And it's like, oh no, the center of the earth is collapsing! So they had to run away. But it, it, it's the same damn formula. But it works, I guess. It's, it's, it's a story that could be told. It's not like it's... I'm not, I'm not against it. It's an original IP, for one. Well, I mean, it's still based on Jules Verne, but I mean, they, they, they did something. Man, they had a little fun with it. Um, and they had, there was a couple few cute things. Like, I don't know, I kind of facepalmed when they mentioned uh, Swift. And Gulliver's Travels, but it was kind of cute when they found a little elephant. I was like, yeah, that's kind of awesome. I wanted that elephant. Yeah, that's kind of sweet. 
Um, but otherwise it was, uh, yeah, there were some things in it that really bugged me. Uh, there was a lot of dialogue that was cringe-inducing. Oh, I, I won't, oh, I won't man. even though I really liked the movie, I won't argue about that. The movie has some really bad dialogue at times. Awful. But, like you said, when The Rock is allowed to do his thing, yeah. that's when he's really at yeah. his best. And I really liked Michael Caine whenever he made, like, his big entrance. He would go oh, like, yeah. what are you waiting for? Where's my applause? Mm. Or something along those lines. I thought that was kind of cool. I, that was obviously written in the script, and it kind of bugged me because it was like, Michael Caine, he... he... <laughs> He kept chewing the scenery, and he kept looking into the camera. <laughs> I, I, I was, like, Michael Caine just looks into your soul. And, uh, it's, I don't know, Michael Caine, he was like, it, it's like he went, oh, I need a paycheck, so I'm going to do a stupid American movie, where I could do nothing except be an explorer. It's a really and good impersonation. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And that, was, and, and, and that was pretty much it. And he went, okay, I'm going to make this stupid movie for kids, and it's going to be dumb. No, I got Batman coming up, so I, mean, I don't want to be, you know, depressing all the time. Let's, let's do something fun, you know? And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty fun. It was, it was okay. Um, I don't really have much to say about it, surprisingly enough. I will say, like, I never get 3D headaches. And yeah. this one gave me a really bad one. Oh, really? I don't know what it was about it. Maybe I had a little bit of a headache. I think I might have had like a little bit of a headache before going into it. Huh. But I don't know. I had a really bad headache for most of that movie. Oh, that sucks. I, uh... So take that as you will. I don't think anyone else here got a headache from it. I never so. have a problem with 3D movies like that. Neither I, I usually I. don't either. That's why I figure it, it might be noteworthy to say something. Yeah, there, so. was a lot, there was a... It had the first instance of 3D actually, like, you know, catching me off guard for the first time in a really long time. Oh, which, which, man, when he threw the spear. Yeah, when he threw the oh spear. I was like... Ooh. I know, I was like, <laughs> oh, my eyes. I didn't really hear my eyes. I, I just kind of... I was, I was like, okay, there's a spear coming at me. I didn't expect it to be as... Like have as much depth as it did. Oh man, you got yeah. stabbed in the eye with that spear. Yeah, no, that was. That was or when like the berry came out the screen, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, the the berry scene was was kind of good. That like uh, even though it's in the trailer, the pep the, the peck popping scene is actually pretty funny. It keeps going on, and that's one of the points where the rock is clearly improvising. Okay, yeah. what was with the rock and buddies like? Holy Pseudo God! Homoerotic <laughs> relationship. Like, I, I was like, "Whoa, because are they man, seriously doing this?" He wanted to jump the rock hard. They kissed each other twice, and they were constantly like hugging and like. I know. I, and they constantly made references to that. I mean, I mean, like it's it's it, that would have been an interesting subplot, but it, it didn't go anywhere, and it was just kind of just like, okay, um, that's. It was just a really really odd character trait for both those characters to have. Like he at one point he like when when they were when they were on the B and the guy was like holding the rock's hips really tenderly yep. he actually whispers into the rock's ears I love you like <laughs> wow really you, I didn't you, catch you that. guys never caught that no. yeah he actually whispered I love you into the rock's ears okay they were clearly just having fun then <laughs> oh they had to have been. <laughs> so um I I do have to call attention to that George Lopez guy as being as having one of one of the worst comedic performances I've ever seen yeah, he was pretty bad, that man. that was he was clearly the worst part of the whole damn thing um we're walking on eggshells it's like yeah it was it was, yeah, it was yeah, the, the, the joke is oh, what's man. happening okay it was those eggs were way too big to come out of that lizard well yeah they were freaking huge eggs and there was a it's lot the of mysterious them. island just let let it rock <laughs> <laughs> the uh yeah back to the george lopez guy he was just so not funny and so uncharismatic and so unlikable that it was just like oh man it was bad um he just he wasn't funny like he they, he kept saying lines that were in the script that if it was somebody like okay who who could have played that role rob schneider N no you. um <laughs> who could have played that role like somebody with a bit of a bit of little uh, charisma, little charisma, yeah. Uh, John George Lopez, Lopez. yeah. George Lopez, no, uh, there you John go. Lake was Amo. What? No, <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I can't really think of anybody. Cheech Marin. Cheech Marin would have been good in that yeah, role. Cheech Marin would have been, been, been great. Yeah, even, been awesome. man, even Tommy Chong would have been good. They should have got Danny Trejo. Oh, hey, look out, man. We're like walking on eggshells <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> like we did that time man. in Vegas. Man, I'm totally gonna put you in the college. <laughs> By oh, stealing dude, this gold. Look at this giant gold nugget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. So, um, 
what else about this movie is interesting? Because there's not really that much. Um, no, man. They they that movie just went like um, boom, 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 boom. You got to see nothing. I did like the scene. I did like the whole the whole thing with the Nautilus. At the end, where they I don't know where they got in the ship, and the ship was really cool looking. I was I was almost hoping that this movie really would cool. just be about the damn ship. Like I was hoping yeah. that it would be about the crew. Like I, I was I was really hoping there'd be a flashback where they'd like do a stupid little you know like zoom 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 flashback to you know like uh, Captain Nemo and his crew aboard the ship doing all this cool shit. I would have been that that would have been really cool. I was like, and then I was sitting there thinking, I forgot to watch that movie. <laughs> Why didn't they make that? I think that was a book. I think that well, was yeah. actually the Mysterious Isle. What? I think that is like the plot of the Mysterious Island is the crew of the Nautilus finding the island. Yeah, 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 exactly. That, that I kind of, that's what I mean. I, it's like I I wanted them to make an actual Mysterious Island movie as opposed that's to a the movie asylum version. Uh, <laughs> um let's not watch that. Yeah, anyway, um Christ, I can't imagine how bad that is. Um now I've lost my train of thought. Jesus Christ, you got me thinking about that fucking Sherlock Holmes movie and... 2010 Moby 2010 Dick? 2010 Moby Dick, oh my god. Fuck, that was Okay, great. so, getting into spoilers here. Yeah. At the end of the movie... The island Not sinks. George Lopez has stolen the Nautilus. <laughs> yeah. I can't really think of any reason he would have this. Sure, he found it, but... He didn't even find it. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Obviously, the other two didn't want it. Nobody wanted it, apparently. It's like, hey, man, here's the cool ship that Nimoy had. Whatever, you can have it. <laughs> Nimoy? Nimoy, <laughs> Nemo. Like, Nemo. I, I guess it was supposed to replace the helicopter that he lost, but it's the fucking Nautilus. It belongs in, a, like, a museum. A museum? Like, nah, is there, like, that. an oceanic equivalent to the Air and Space Museum? Because... It kind of belongs there, like it's a it's a it's a relic, more than anything else. And it, yeah, it predates like submarines I by mean, like a hundred years. Yeah, it's just kind of stupid. Not really? Yeah, it, I was about to say it's a plot hole, but it's not a plot hole. It's just it's just something stupid. Yeah. Um, what else was there about this thing? It was really funny when Vanessa Hudgens was like, it was Vanessa Hudgens, right? That's yeah. the name of the chick. Okay. Yeah. Um, when she was crawling in that um. Like the tunnel, and I turned and like and it's showing her from the front. She's closing the tunnel. And I'm like, I was like joking. I was like, you know, I wonder if they're gonna do an underworld uh, awakening ass shot uh, while she's climbing on the tunnel. And then they did. <laughs> they did. Yeah. And she was crawling out. It's like it was like Vanessa Hudgens ass is on IMAX in front of me. I, and I, I think we saw. Not that I'm complaining, but I mean, yeah. But I mean. What? I think I said I think we saw more of her in that than we did of uh, what's her name in Kate Beckinsale. And, we did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did actually, which is kind of strange and disconcerting. <laughs> the uh, anywho, nothing to say. So, uh, what else is there about this movie? I don't think there's anything else really. I have nope. very little to say on this movie. Yeah, me too. Um, the set pieces were nice. The acting was bad. Rock was kind of charming, and then the movie was over. <laughs> yeah. And then nobody thought of it again. What do you I think, Cole? Um. I, like I said, I, I really enjoyed it. it. I thought it was fun. I think it's, it's not a, it's not great by any means, really. Like, but it, it's fun, and I got to give props because it was directed by a Newfoundlander, so that's something really? at least. Yeah, guys from Gander. I did not know that. Interesting. Anyway, what do you think, Danny? I think it's like a solid kids movie. Kids would like it, but that's it. <laughs> Good enough. Um, I thought. It's, uh, uh, I mean, considering what's out been been getting put out for kids these days, that's it's pretty good. Well, yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess it's definitely a good kids movie. Mm. But I mean, and if I was a kid, I would have loved the crap out of it. Yeah, because it had like giant lizards and like bugs. Kids yep. love bugs and a steampunk submarine. Yeah, it had all that stuff. Like it's it's definitely a really fun kids movie in comparison to some of the stuff that you see coming out. I guess nowadays, but I guess for me now, 24 years yeah. old, I it's just not really my bag anymore. No. Yeah, I liked how it looked, and it just really ends there. Yeah, I had fun with it, um, but I think that the acting was too bad, and it was a bit too cliched. Um, and by a bit, I mean a lot. Um, yeah, it's, it was seriously hard to watch at times, just because of the, the dialogue it was. A lot of daddy issues in this Ooh, movie. Oh, really? man, yeah. Really? A lot of daddy issues in this movie. So, on the subject of the daddy issues, was Brandon Fraser dead 
I, I don't know. I think he was. Like, either that or he just ran off on the kid. Or uh, the mom <laughs> left him for going on his wild adventures. Uh, I'd leave Brandon Fraser for The Rock. I think that's pretty. Uh, I think I think I think that's an upscale. I'm pretty sure anyone would leave Brendan <laughs> Fraser for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the kid oh, yeah. totally looked like Brendan Fraser, though. I could totally see him as Brendan Fraser's son. Well, I'm pretty yeah. sure he is Brendan Fraser's son. Yeah, no, I know, but I mean, yeah. and, like not in real life, but I mean, like, oh, yeah. I could totally see that kid as Brendan Fraser's son. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I think I think in the continuity of the movie, he was. Yeah. He no, did. I, well, I think okay. he means in real life. What? Anyway. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to finish this up now. Um, yeah. D- go see it or don't. I don't. Whatever. Take, if you, if you got take your ki- kids. If you got kids. Yeah. If you got a kid who likes giant animals and bright colors, they'll love it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's about it. Um, thing, what'd you think? Go! Go! Thing, uh. Give him a flick. Who knows what he wants? Oh, let's see. He's indifferent. That, yeah, that's an indifferent thing. Alright, thanks, thing. It's indifference time. 